Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Citicom video. Let us further discuss the PlayStation 4's in its, but from a slightly different angle. We're actually going to be talking about a recent price breakdown analysis that a company, we'll go into that in just a moment, have been focused on and have actually priced what the various internals on the system have actually cost. And this primarily include the APU and the memory. Now, believe it or not, the PlayStation 4's APU, which of course contain the CPU, the GPU, and everything else, costs about 100 US dollars. Meanwhile, the GDDR5 memory will cost another 88 US dollars. In addition to that, the chip itself is so large, 350 square millimeters, that it's about three times larger than any other chip. Um, that this company have actually analyzed that's of the similar type. In other words, using the equivalent process technology and has actually been uh, examined by this team. Now the team are known as IHS. And as I mentioned, they specialize in basically analyzing the costs and the performance and so on of various components. They also pointed out that the GDDR5 memory, and this is an exact quote, has much higher bandwidth than DDR3, um, in the Xbox One and also works better in parallel computing is designed specifically to and I quote enhance graphics performance Because of its cutting-edge status the GDDR5 memory is much more expensive than DDR3 Which is used in high volume in products including PCs and older games consoles um, And that's pretty much uh, pretty much pretty much what the hell pretty much all she wrote so yeah pretty short but um for one to throw it out to you guys today i don't really think uh it's anything particularly new in terms of news we knew that the memory was going to be pretty damn expensive obviously his brief comments don't exactly tell all of the story for example, what they don't go into is the fact that the Xbox One, of course, has ESRAM to try and help to uh, make up the golf. And also, of course, he doesn't mention that GDDR5 memory is indeed found in PCs. It's found on the GPUs, which are the only things right now on PCs that actually require that amount of memory bandwidth. DDR3 is actually more than sufficient to pretty much run the high-end, even the high-end Intel processors um, right now. Uh, there was some actually tests done in terms of memory bandwidth and they actually found that there wasn't a huge difference unless the system was actually using the integrated graphics processor. But that's a slight aside. Regardless, what is quite important is just how um, he believes that it's going to be helping parallel computing. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, this is one of the primary... Uh, responsibilities and the reasons to go with an APU. It's pretty much the purpose of getting not only the CPU but also the GPU involved in compu computations. So for example if you have a little bit of data that bit of data is in the memory and then you will simply, the CPU will simply say hey buddy I need your help to process this please and the, the GPU will just simply process that same little bit of data. Now the brilliant thing is because the PS4 is humor, uh, heterogeneous unified memory architecture, it doesn't need, need to copy that little bit of data from one memory location to another. And that's really important because in even typical unified memory access, it actually needs to do that. So in short, let's assume that you have bit of data in location, let's just call it 53. So let's assume that you have 100 blocks of memory. You have far more than that, of course, but let's just make it easy for ourselves. And assume that we have the letter A in location 53. Okay, so the CPU has read letter A and it says, okay, I understand what letter A is. And it says, okay, but GPU, I need your help to turn that letter A into a B. Well, what would happen if it was a traditional uh, memory architecture is it would have to take that letter A from location 53 and it might have to put it into location 76 which is allocated towards graphics memory. In this it doesn't have to do that. It just literally tells the GPU letter A is in location 53, do your thing and it does it and it doesn't need to copy the data backwards and forwards. And you know what? 
off completely off topic i think that's about the best explanation i've ever come up with um when i'm trying to explain exactly how humor works and it was in completely and utterly an unrelated video and that is how my brain works ladies and gentlemen it is without rhyme and without reason for most of the time regardless that is pretty uh, it's not exactly accurate of course it has a few technical um extras in there but that's pretty much how it uh, works in terms of uh, humor copying data or rather not needing to copy data so it's pretty awesome um, and that's basically the purpose of a uh, compute and the ability to uh, parallel compute so in other words it's just to get the cpu and the gpu involved anyway um hopefully you've enjoyed the relatively brief video I'm going to get going, as some of you may be aware from my recent raging on Facebook. I'm having a few issues with my hosts right now, web hosts. Uh, turns out when a company decides to rebrand themselves, sometimes it's not good for the consumer. And in this case, I am the consumer. And so I'm writing very indignant emails, let's say that. So I'm going to have a fun couple of next days. So if anyone wishes to wish me luck, I would suggest you do so. On a very serious note, if you have any comments or questions, you're best, rather than asking them on face, um, on her YouTube, to do so on Facebook. So you can just go to facebook.com slash tech and I shall be there. Regardless, I'll see you soon. Take care.